Hello, Sarah Klein here from the Transformative Learning Center. Happy holidays. So uh, in this short video, I'm going to show you three drills to open the armpit and open the thoracic spine. It is the holiday season, which means extra, right? Extra of everything. And Patricia Walden, a senior Iyengar teacher, said, open your armpits and you will never be depressed. The holidays can mean many things to us, um, and we can all agree that it's just a time of extra, extra expectations, of extra to-dos, extra family time, and it is absolutely a beautiful time. It is definitely the darkest time um, during the year, so why not do a little extra um, on yourself to lift your spirit during this uh, time full of life. <laughs> so uh, these three drills are all about opening the armpit. And for my yoga teacher out there, the elbow is the rudder to the shoulder. The shoulder is the gateway to the thoracic spine. When we open the thoracic spine, we get to open the heart space. And you can feel the benefits. You can, and that's what I'm going to ask you when you do these drills. How does it make you feel? Is it true? Open your armpits and you'll never be depressed. So why? The elbow is going to, as the rudder to the shoulder, the movement of the elbow puts the shoulder into an external rotation, which means the scapula descend and widen on the back. As the scapula descend and widen not on the back, not only is the shoulder stable and prepared to bear weight, if you're moving into arm balances or back bends that bear weight. And so it's stable, that joint, but then it gives you access to bringing the thoracic spine in and the skin of the chest up, which is where the back bend should begin. To have a nice, even curve in the spine, we've got to create mobility in the thoracic spine. So these are some of my very favorite three drills for you to integrate into this holiday season so that you can open your armpits and feel the joy of the season. The first one is called jail, jail pose. All you need is a wall. And why is it called jail pose? Because it's like you're getting arrested. So you're going to take your arms off the wall and you'll see that if you feel like your shoulders are sticky, you spin your thumbs up. That's going to help to cultivate that external rotation in the shoulders. So I'm going to spin my thumbs up I'm a couple feet away from the wall. If you want less, you come close to the wall and put your forehead on the wall. If you want more, you let your forehead move away from the wall. Now I'm gonna start with my feet. Feet are hip distance apart, lift and spread the toes. Feel the four points of the feet. Then from here, I'm gonna work my inner knee towards my outer knee and place the knee back so I can pull up the whole quadriceps, like I'm pulling up my muscle socks. Then from here, when we start to open the shoulders, we want to be careful of the pelvis and the front ribs. So you're going to consciously draw the tailbone down towards the heels, tie the navel into the spine, and soften the front ribs into the back ribs. So you can find stability in your low belly, like you're tightening up a corset. Now we're going to find that nice external rotation in the shoulders. The outer edge of the armpit spins towards the wall, which will cultivate a pit in your armpit. Then you're gonna lift the skin of the chest. You can do that with the hands. You're gonna imagine your hands are stuck in cement, pressing them down the wall as you draw the thoracic spine in and the skin of the chest up. And then of course, breathe. Holding the tether of the low belly towards the spine, breathe horizontally into your side body and vertically up into the collarbone. Like the breath, we're cultivating the stretch. You can stay here for anywhere between you know, five to 20 breaths to really feel the benefits. And then when you're done, release and take a moment to check in. How does it make you feel? So downward facing dog is our next pose, but we're gonna do it with a little variation. And the intention of downward facing dog is spinal extension. But the primary actions to get that extension are there's many, but one is the external rotation of the shoulder. So we're going to use the position of the hand 
to reinforce the external rotation of the shoulder. And we're gonna use the wall. So you're gonna take your thumb and your first finger against the wall. That position of the hand is going to give you that external rotation. So hands are shoulder distance apart. I'm gonna walk my feet back. Now, the position of the hand is also going to facilitate another foundation, which is rooting into the pointer finger mount. The base of the pointer finger, you press down. Then from here, you're going to spin your armpit towards your feet. That's an external rotation in the shoulders. Like we said, once we establish that external rotation, we'll find mobility in the thoracic spine. Now, again, our priority today is to open the armpit. So I'm going to come high on the balls of the feet, stacking the heels over the balls of the feet, energizing my feet. Then I'm going to move my pelvis in the direction of where the wall and the ceiling meet behind me. So I'm going to go up and back. The action there is really opening those armpits, open them up, and then slowly lower the heels. Now, as I get deep into the shoulders, you'll notice how the front ribs want to Play. That's the tendency. It's the avoidance in the body. So you're going to zip your front ribs in towards your back ribs, tether your navel to the spine, and think of opening those armpits, letting the back of the neck relax, the gaze hold steady, and again, letting the breath do the pose. Okay, again, hold from anywhere between five to 20 breaths, and then release and take note of how you feel. All right, third drill. What you need here is I'm going to use a chair and a block. You could do this same drill on a countertop. The distance, the difference, excuse me, would be here. I'm going to be on my knees. You'll see. But if you're on a countertop, you would stand. You could be on a desk, a countertop, a windowsill ledge. Be creative. If you don't have a block, use a book. What the block does is help to keep a nice clean line of my hands over my elbows and my elbows shoulder distance apart. If you've got sensitive knees, you can over, always double over your mat like I did, or you could grab a blanket for underneath your knees. So from here, I'm gonna put my elbows on the surface that I choose. Your middle finger aligns with your elbow and the block is giving you that action that we just worked with the pointer finger mount roots. That's an internal rotation in the forearm as we work an external rotation in the shoulder. Those two poles of opposition create traction action, okay? So I'm gonna imagine that my elbows are stuck in cement and I'm gonna energetically push them away from one another. The elbow is the rudder to the shoulder. So as I push the elbows energetically away from one another, you're gonna feel a nice rinse in your shoulder. Then from here, I actually have my mat too short, so let me lengthen it out. I want my torso parallel to the ground. I want to create enough space that I can really breathe from tailbone to ground. All right, from here, energetically pushing the elbows away from one another, pressing the pointer finger mound into the block, tether the navel in towards the spine, Soften the front ribs into the back ribs. It's the same action, visualizing that you're tightening up an imaginary corset. It's going to give you stability in your low belly. Then from here, with that action, I'm filling up my kidneys or low back region, taking a big breath into that space. You can relax at the base of the neck, unhinge the jaw. And then with an exhale, I'm going to imagine that the thoracic spine right between the shoulder blades was just bending. And then with an inhale, I'm going to lift energetically the skin of the chest up towards the chair. So there's a subtle but profound counter action between softening the thoracic spine and lifting the skin of the chest. Again, we're opening the armpit, breathing into the cavity of the chest, creating space, giving us access to the heart openers that this holiday season really asks of us. All right, three drills for you to try. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear uh, how they land for you, if you have any questions or what you felt.
So happy holidays to you. Um, it is a time of light, celebration, gratitude, and appreciation. And we can help cultivate that within ourselves, even with all the extra that we have to do by being committed to our practice. So go ahead and open those armpits so that you're never depressed. Those are not my words, but they really have resonated with me and see how it feels. Don't take my word for it. Try it on. All right. Sarah Klein, Transformative Learning Center. Happy holidays.